everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a powerful tool that's often used in digital forensics and investigations, EXIF tool. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is this tool and why is it important? Let's break it down. EXIF tool is essentially a Swiss army knife for metadata. What's metadata, you ask? It's the information about your data. For instance, when you take a photo with your smartphone, it records details like when the picture was taken, the camera model, GPS location, and even exposure settings. This information is stored as metadata within the image file. EXIF tool allows you to extract, view, and even modify this metadata from a wide range of file formats, not just images. Documents, videos, audio files, you name it, EXIF tool can probably work with it. So, why is this useful? Well, imagine you're investigating a cybercrime case. You have an image file from a suspect's computer. By using EXIF tool, you can potentially extract valuable information like when and where the photo was taken, which camera was used, and even if the image has been edited. This can be crucial evidence in building a case. Beyond forensics, EXIF tool has other applications too. Photographers can use it to check and adjust metadata in their images. Researchers can extract specific information from large datasets for analysis, and the list goes on. In essence, EXIF tool is a versatile tool that can provide insights into the hidden information within your files. Whether you're a digital forensics expert, a photographer, or just someone curious about the data behind your files, EXIF tool is definitely worth exploring. So, to summarize, EXIF tool is a powerful tool for extracting and analyzing metadata from various file types. It's a must-have for anyone working in digital forensics, but it also has applications in many other fields. So, there you have it. EXIF tool is a powerful tool that can unlock the hidden secrets of your digital files. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into how to use EXIF tool and explore some practical examples. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.